PHP data objects, also known as PDO, allows us to use one unified interface for accessing all databases. The same code with minimal changes. One single interface. This code presents a simple query performed using PDO. Let's go over the code. The first line instantiate the PDO class. Within $OB we get a reference for a new object instantiated from PDO. The new object is created by calling a specific constructor in PDO that receive three arguments. The first, as you can see, starts with MySQL since we work with the MySQL database. We mention the IP number or the name of the computer on which the MySQL server is running and then DB name equals and we specify the specific database the specific database we want to connect. The second argument is the username the third is the password. The username and the password we can use in order to access the database. Once this line executes successfully within the $OB we get a reference for a new object instantiated from PDO. This new object is all we need in order to continue our code and execute the query. The second line well, you don't don't have to, to call it in order to complete the query. Um, just that I believe it is important to be aware of this possibility. You can call the set attribute method on your PDO object in order to configure its behavior. Uh, all you need to pass over to the set attribute method are two arguments two arguments which are usually constants declared within the PDO class. The first argument in this case is a constant saying that we want to configure the error behavior of our PDO object. The second argument we pass says that we want, in case of uh, any error, an exception to be thrown from the PDO object. That will allow us to use the try and catch in order to catch the exception if something happens and do something with it. The third line uh, simply creates a new string which is the query we want to execute this line execute the query. We call the query method on our PDO object and pass over the string which is the SQL statement we want to execute. Here you should understand that the query method in this case returns a reference for an array, an array that each one of its values is a simple array that holds the values of a specific row. You should understand that when you query a database using the SELECT statement, the result is a collection of rows. And iterating using the for each loop, iterating the values of the array the query method returns means that each iteration dollar row is a simple array that holds the values of a specific row. This way we can iterate all rows and each row print out to the screen the values that row includes. Here you should understand that each row is represented using a simple array that holds the values 
of that row as the values and their keys are the names of the relevant columns from the database. Let's execute this code. As we have on this specific computer and PHP environment and MySQL server already up and running, all we need to do is call the specific PHP script file that we have just overviewed. And this is the result.